Yo guys, what is happening? What is going on? Hope you guys are having a good day. I was just in the process of exporting a bunch of my photos from a recent camping trip uh, that I went on. Uh, it was at Glencoe, which is in the Highlands of Scotland. And I thought I'd do one of these tutorials because I think some people are finding it quite complicated, like choosing the best settings to export your photos from Lightroom for Instagram. So yeah, hopefully this benefits you guys. And if it does, please comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram as well. Let me know if this was helpful uh, to you guys or not. And if not, I'll, you know, hopefully help you guys out. So yeah, let's get started, man. This is a quick and simple one to do. So go to file, go to export. Now for export location, always I have it on desktop. And I, for this particular uh, picture, I'm not going to put it in a subfolder because it's just one picture. So there's no point. Uh, so your file naming, I just leave that the way it is. Same with the video because, well, it's a photo. So yeah, you don't want to mess around with that. So for your file settings, now with image format, just keep it on JPEG. Don't bother with PSD, TIFF, DNG, or original because these are huge uh, file formats. And I'll tell you guys in a second why <clears throat> you want to have it on JPEG. So Instagram, they compress the crap out of your photos to the point where like sometimes they just ruin the hell out of your photos, man. So that's why you're going to have it at JPEG. It's a much more manageable file setting, file image format, sorry. Now with your quality, right, do not have it at 100. Keep it at around 60 or 70 because when you uh, upload to Instagram, rather than Instagram compressing the shit out of a quality of 100, if you have it at 70, it's much more manageable and there will be less compression on it. So you're actually going to end up getting a very, um, a very identical um, like quality to what this is here and not something that's, you know, pixelated and stuff so have it at 70 or even 60 up to you guys uh, limit file size I just keep that at 100k color space sRGB so your image sizing I have the resolution at 300 usually it's 240 but because we're keep making the quality 70 and not 100 I make it 300 just to compensate for the fact that it's uh, image quality is at 70 your output sharpening, don't mess with that. Metadata, just leave that the way it is. Watermarking, I don't like putting watermarks on my photos, so I don't bother taking that. And with post-processing, just click on do nothing. And that is it, guys. Simple as that. Literally not even three minutes. I'm not sure how long this video is. But yeah, it's it, that's it, guys. So that is the best export settings for your picture for sharing it onto Instagram. So if this video is helpful, please subscribe, comment, let me know if it was helpful or not. And please follow me on Instagram, guys. All my photos are there. They're all pretty much like this as well. Very adventurous and shit. And uh, yeah, guys, have a good day. Good luck. Peace.